don't tell anyone, but I just ran Miro's MCP server with Claude to generate a diagram explaining our internal MCP, and this is the result. So here's the legend at the top. We have our AI assistant in the bottom left, which connects to our client, which then routes to our server, which of course we have observability as well. We have our data store with Redis, which then integrates with our client and ultimately calls our platform API. This is what your diagrams could look like if you're using Nero's MCP with Claude. And I already have Claude code set up. And basically what I can do is I can go into slash uh, MCP and then I can do code explain on board. So explain code implementation by creating visual diagrams and documentation on a mirror board. I'm gonna be using that. So it asked me for the mirror board URL and the code to explain. And here is the board URL and basically the code to explain local computer. So here we go. So basically the code is in my local computer and we can see that Claude is thinking and it's going to essentially be using this MCP prompt to create a really nice diagram. And I'll speed this part up while it's thinking. Great. So now I can see that Claude has successfully created comprehensive visual explanations of our MCP server code base on our mirror board. So we have four diagrams. We have the system architecture diagram, the request flow sequence diagram, the middleware and authentication flow chart, and the MCP tools mind map. And I'll go through three of these and I'll show you all of that in just a second. So let's take a look at our mirror board. So here is our high level system architecture diagram. I can go into focus mode and check it out. So we have our legend at the top. I've just kind of created this real quick to help explain everything. So we got the server in the blue, the Dave's data store in the red, external system in the orange and an actor, something that initiates a process in the light green. So we can see our AI assistant is the actor in this case. We have our servers here. And then we have our uh, fast API server, which has these external systems like observability. We also have our middleware stack. Um, and then we have our data store with Redis. And then of course our fast MCP which manages our context, our board server, and also our code server, and then which calls our platform APIs. So this is a nice high level overview of the system. But now what if we wanna learn about the tools? Well, we have a really nice uh, MCB tools mind map to understand the different tools we have. So we have get items, we have get image data, we have get board stocks, we have depth, draft diagram new. This is the tool that we're, create, we're using now to actually draft this diagram. And then you can see it, it supports different diagram types, UML, mind map, flowchart, as you can see. So now let's move into the uh, request sequence diagram. So you can see the assistant like Claude sends the MCP request. We have our HTTP request. Um, and then we have our try catch with our middleware. We have our uh, request details in our middleware as well. We have their passport middleware and so on. I'm not going to dive super deep into this, uh, but again, I can go into focus mode and make any edits I want. You know, I can move stuff around. I can try to make things a little bit clearer if I want. Uh, of course, I can change the colors, uh, etc. But that's a quick demo of how Claude does. We have our server middleware authentication flowchart as well. That's the fourth one. Um, so that's just a nice little visual representation of what Claude can do. I hope this was helpful. This is something that we use internally a lot to help onboard our engineers. And I hope you can see the value of how awesome these diagrams look coming from Claude and how quickly you can create these diagrams using Miro's MCP. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.